Mark chapter 4, verses 7 and 18 to 19. And some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no crop. Now these are the ones sown among thorns. They are the ones who hear the word, and the cares of this word, the deceitfulness of riches, and the desires for other things, entering in choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. Other seed fell among thorns. There was enough soil to provide nutrition and water, but there was another problem with this place. It was dominated by thorns which had already taken up residence. Although the seed could sprout and grow, it could not bear fruit. The crop became little better than weeds. What do the thorns represent? They are the worries of this life, the deceitfulness of wealth, and the desires of other things. What does fruit represent? It is the fruit of the Holy Spirit and the fruit of souls won into Christ's kingdom. This raises a question. How do worries, wealth, and desire for other things prevent a person from bearing the fruit of the Holy Spirit and the fruit of saved souls? It can be explained in many ways, but let me try to do so in terms of time management. In the morning, you start your day with worries of the things that you have to do. The allure of wealth comes next, and then materialistic desires. When a person lives for such things, it consumes their day. They rush home late at night and go straight to bed. How many hours would be left for spiritual matters? Almost none, right? Nothing comes from nothing. Likewise, if something is accomplished, it means that someone has labored for it. For the Word of God to be engraved on our hearts, it requires labor. By the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we have to read and study the Word meditate, memorize, and put the lessons into action. In order to labor effectively, time has to be invested. Why can't a person yield the fruit of the Holy Spirit and the fruit of souls? It is because no time is left after worrying and their other worldly priorities. There are many people who want to spend less time on the things that the thorns represent and bear good fruit instead. Sadly, for most, this is not translated into results because they consume time in the wrong things. We do not have power to overcome the thorns by ourselves. If we try, we only bear the fruit of hopelessness. So what can we do about them? Just leave them alone. And by the guidance of the Holy Spirit, read and study the Bible, meditate, memorize, and act on what you read. Those things will effectively put the stones from your life aside. Jesus said, By their fruit you, you will recognize them. One thing must be added to what I have written. If a person cannot bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit, it does not mean that they bear nothing. But what they bear is the fruit of the flesh, not the fruit of God. Thorns will always be around us, but we must not let them dominate our time or our lives. Instead, we must occupy our time with spiritual matters before the thorns take over. Let's begin now and drink the living water that the Word cannot give us.